Hey YouTubers, I just got back from a uh, trip to um, Buena Vista, Colorado and on that trip I took my A7 and uh, I took a bunch of stuff um, just because when I'm down there I never know what I'm going to do. Uh, this time though I thought I was going to try and I did try some uh, wide field astrophotography and um, I packed pretty much everything I needed for that in here, uh, but I also packed a tripod and head, which I don't think I'm going to get into. I think I'm going to do um, a dedicated video on uh, my tripod uh, and head setups at some point. But anyway, I, I took my big Gitzo and uh, my uh, Arca Swiss head that I've mentioned in blogs recently. Um, so let's talk about what I took and I just wanted to demonstrate what kind of a Sony a7 kit you could put together. I have a Sony a7 Mark II and uh, I put a variety of stuff in here. This is a Think Tank Retrospective 7 which I've done a review on in the past and I really like this bag. It's just about the right size for almost anything you can imagine and it's turned out to be pretty useful for my a7 kit. So. Without further ado, let's dig into the bag. We'll do the big stuff first. Uh, in the center pocket here, I've got my A7 Mark II. Now I've got this thing pretty dolled up. I've got the uh, vertical or battery grip on it. I've got an L plate on it because um, of the astrophotography thing. I wanted to be able to shoot with the camera in portrait mode. I've got the uh, Metabones R mount adapter on, and I've got a 24 millimeter Elmarit, which is really good for, um, turns out it's really good for uh, astrophotography. So um, that's the, the camera. And then for lenses, let's start over here. Uh, I've got another uh, Leica R lens. This is uh, a Summicron 50. Uh, this uh, 24 is a 2.8. Elmarit means 2.8. So that's a f2.8 lens and the hood for that guy. Patented lens separator material and a 90 Summicron which I didn't really shoot so uh, but this is a really a great lens. I did a video just demonstrating uh, the quality of this lens for video. Mine's kind of beat up but uh, it's a really really nice lens. So I always if I'm going to be shooting with an R adapter I take these three lenses I have a 28 millimeter lens, but I tend to take the 24 and, and these guys. Okay, so the, the surprise, the bonus, is that I was able to fit in this, now this is a, an A-mount lens, this Sigma 400 millimeter that I've talked about in a couple of other um, videos. This is a pretty inexpensive 400 millimeter prime. It's an f5.6, and it's about the size of a Canon 70 to 200 f4. The cool thing is I had not really been using the space in here very efficiently. I had this divider way over here for whatever reason. I had this divider over this way a little bit so the camera was more uh, to your right. And I just kind of was packing for this trip and I was like, gosh, it'd be nice if I could take that giant uh, prime. I don't have room. Well, wait a minute, I've got room over here because those lenses don't need that much room. So anyway, I shifted it all over and this guy just drops right in there. And this has the, what do they call it? The LAEA4 autofocus uh, A to E mount adapter on it. So that's why it's got this chunky thing on there. So anyway, it packs in really nicely. That's it for the main compartments. Now up front, I've got a number of items. Uh, this is, uh, I don't have this on right now because I've got the L-plate on, uh, but uh, this is a Peak Designs clutch and I'm going to do a review on this. This is basically a uh, hand strap for the camera and I'm kind of a hand strap guy. I've gotten tired of uh, wrist straps, I've gotten tired of neck straps. Hand straps are my bag these days. Uh, anyway, review coming up on that. Uh, what else is in here? Various and sundry lens and body caps. Watch me knock this 400 off the table. Maybe I'll move it over here. A uh, little Sony flash. This is the little flash that'll do uh, 
balance and so forth. This one's easy to carry because it packs nice and flat, so I just leave it in this front compartment. More body cap. Extra battery. The, the grip takes two batteries, so uh, I burned one of them doing that uh, night photography. And uh, so I always make sure I have uh, a third charged one. Uh, tools for um, my tripod, uh, my brackets, and so forth. Um, another for that stuff. Hey, remember the days of film? <laughs> I haven't shot film in a while, but anyway, some stuff from, from that, when I was carrying film gear. Then in this inner pocket, so that was the outer pocket, which is, you know, it's a pretty good size. A little flat, but it's got a uh, bellows, so it'll it'll hold a decent amount of stuff. Um, then there's this this inner set of pockets. So in there, I'm going to show you what I have. Uh, just a magic marker, uh, lens cleaning cloth, and for some reason I have a plethora of remotes. That's the remote for my um, A900. I guess it was in there because I used to carry my A900 in this bag. And then I bought this little cheapo. Uh, wireless thing which I didn't end up using for the uh, uh, night photography I just used the uh, self timer a uh, little tiny little flashlight came in handy and uh, is that it that is it anything else hidden in here I don't think so uh, then in the back I don't have it in right now but this is uh, this pocket back here is sized perfectly for uh, my full size. I have an iPad Air and I have a keyboard case for it. And it fits just perfectly in there. So that's what I took with me. And uh, I think it's a pretty good example of uh, the kind of stuff you can fit in a Retro 7. It's a pretty versatile bag. It's one that I'm definitely definitely going to keep because I've put a number of different things in here and it's all worked well. Thoughts you might enjoy seeing the bag dump. I will catch you later.